I'm Gemma. I'm Emma. And, and this, this is Ridiculous. Hi, Internet. We're going to do a video today about Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda and the movie Love, Simon, because we both read the book and we both saw the movie. And we liked both for different reasons. So we're going to talk about all the fun things, movie and book related. Which means there are going to be spoilers. Spoiler, this is your warning that if you haven't read the book and or seen the movie, go read the book, go see the movie, and then come back and watch this video. I have a question. Yes. Are there going to be spoilers? There might be spoilers. Spoilers in this video. <laughs> I think my least favorite thing is the end. Really? In both? No, in the movie. Uh oh. I didn't like it because it was so pathetic in the movie, how he's just like on the Ferris wheel forever and like the, the world is standing at the bottom watching. Yeah, I didn't really like how it was like a whole dramatic thing versus in the book, he's just at yeah. the place and going about his life and then he's not like specifically waiting and yeah, stopping like, his I'll whole be, life I'll and spending all of his money on tickets to keep riding the Ferris wheel by himself. Yeah. I feel like the things that I didn't like about the movie were things like that, where I'm like, it was cuter in the book. I liked yeah. it better not knowing so much. I kind of like how he imagines like the person, like when he's thinking, oh, it might be this person. I like, just wish he sees it was them like watching them. But like, I don't, I didn't like how Bram was the first person that he ever pictured. Because he didn't think because of it in, the, in, the, in the movie, yeah, in the book. Bram is just like this person that's there and he think like he thinks that he likes Leah. Yeah. And like so you're just like and then in the movie it's like the first person and then it is him. Like in the book I remember Simon gets the wrong test back or essay back in English. Oh yeah. And it's Bram yeah. and he's like, oh, this is yours and it's a good mark. And then in one of the emails, either right yeah, before that or right after, like, he talks about yeah. English and the grammar. And I was like, oh, it's going to be Bram. I hope it's Bram. Yeah. Please let it be Bram. And the excitement that builds in the book where you're like, oh, please let it be Bram. And Simon is not thinking it's him at all. Like yeah. he has nothing to think about in terms of that. It's like, I feel like it builds up more. Versus yeah. in the movie, you're like, oh, he already thought it was Bram. And then it's going to be Bram. So... I feel like the focus of the movie is still on Simon and having to be like forced out yeah. when he's not ready. But the overall, the situation with Blue, I think doesn't develop in the movie as much as yeah. I liked in the book. Which, yeah, like that's like a big part of the, the book is like the, all the, there's so many more emails where they talk about so much other yeah. stuff and like you're thinking it's like whatever. Uh, and also I didn't like in the movie where like when Martin posts that thing on Creek Secrets. And he posts and, the emails. And he posts the emails. I didn't like that he posts the emails yeah. when that didn't happen in the book. And also I didn't like in the movie how Blue just shuts down his email right away. Yeah. It's just like little things like that. What I did though <coughs> like about the movie that was different than the book, I did actually like, I feel like it's very typical. So maybe it's not, it's probably not everyone's favorite thing, but Leah liking Simon. I feel like I liked that in the movie. In the book, if it had gone that way, the way the rest of the book goes, I don't think I would have liked it. But in the movie, in the situations in the movie, I liked it for the movie. You know what else I was waiting for in the movie that didn't actually ever really happen? So they they put this oh. some of the stuff in there with like the dad making like the gay jokes and like yeah. the part where Simon's like, oh, I need to tell you guys something. And, the dad's like, oh, you got someone pregnant? Oh, you're gay? And like, yeah. um, so they put some of that in, but I was waiting for that moment in the book when Simon's like, oh, like, I forget exactly what he says, but he's something like, oh, it's so awkward when like, you've been making all these jokes like for years in front of your gay son and now like, da 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 da, yeah. like where he super calls him out. And I was like waiting for that in the movie and it's like so much more like chill and emotional when they like yeah. finally talk. I love the principal character in the movie. <laughs> he was so just, ridiculous. Just ridiculous. <laughs> but that is, I feel like, what like older people yeah. are like. Just like, like oh. trying so hard to yeah. be cool. Let's like. He's like, you and I are just alike. <laughs> and then Simon comes out. He's like, in every just way to be clear, when I was saying we were just we were so alike, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. So basically. <laughs> I like the book and I like the movie. I think this is one of the 
one of the only times where I didn't come out of a movie up based on a book where I was like, ugh, yeah. the book was so much better. They ruined it. They ruined it. They left out this, 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 this. They should have put this. Like, they were yeah. both good. There's obviously stuff in the book that's missing from the movie, but, like, it wasn't terrible. Yeah. Like, I think it's, it's separate things. Really liked the book. Really liked the movie. If I hadn't read the book and had gone to see the movie, I would have liked it. And even though I did read the book and it was a bit different in the movie, I still really liked the movie yeah. and I wasn't as caught up on the things. Like obviously there were differences that weren't my favorite thing, but the movie as a whole I still really liked and I didn't feel like it ruined the book or ruined the story. Yeah. I guess I wasn't dead set on the movie being like exactly like the book. If it had been, that would have been great. But them changing it didn't ruin the movie. Yeah. If you watch this, even though there were spoilers, definitely spoilers. see the movie. <laughs> Go see it again. <laughs> we just told you how good it is. Or if you saw the movie and didn't read the book, read the book because it's pretty different. Yeah. Definitely read the book. And like, there's a lot, like, obviously we talked about stuff that happened in the book. But there's a lot in the book that we oh, didn't yeah. talk about that's like good. So if you somehow didn't read the book. Yeah. Definitely. And if you've already seen the movie, you kind of know the main spoiler. Yes. If you watch the movie or read the book or both, let us for sure know Probably. what you thought in the comments. So definitely make sure that you're following both of us on Goodreads. Our links to that are in the description below. We also have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where our username is at RidiculousYT. So links for those will be in the description below as well. Make sure you subscribe so you get notifications for all our videos, which are posted every Saturday. And uh, like this video if you liked it, which hopefully you did. If you didn't, <laughs> bye. <laughs>